that. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's go to our second question for this episode. Uh, and this says, uh, any videos or tips that would encourage kids to want to wear ortho -K? And they said the parents are willing and paid for the lenses, but the patient will not have anything to do with the contact lenses after trying it once. So Dr. Yeah. D, how do you respond to this question? I have a lot of experience with this. And, and if you get good at this, you will be much more successful than you already are. You have to realize the parent's motivation for enrolling in a myopia management program, whatever you refer to it as, is very different than the child. If I was a 10-year-old, 12-year-old, 8-year-old, the last thing I want to do is put any contact lens in my eye. And if I do feel a gas permeable lens in my eye, then I'm definitely not going to do it. I'm intelligent. It's a lot of work, a lot of discomfort. I'm very happy with my glasses. So what we've learned to do is be very proactive, knowing the child is not going to want this lens in their eye. That's the assumption we make, no matter how much the parents want it. So we do a number of things. The last podcast we talked about, I now, during the quarantine and during this pandemic, I meet with parents beforehand. And I tell them why. I, I have a video chat with them, either with Google Meet or Zoom. And I say, I want a more detailed history. I want your child to meet me when I'm not wearing this mask and wearing gloves and all my technicians are wearing gloves. We're taking your temperature. Where you have to call my office still. Look at the different feeling we have right now as opposed mm -hmm. to when I take off my mask and I can meet the child and explain to the child what's going to happen during the consultation. So I want to, I'm going to assume that the child will not like that gas permeable lens when they come in for the consult. So step one is I get the child to meet me virtually with the parent and I explain to him the purpose of the exam, what exactly is going to happen. And number three, I think this is important. I tell the child, you're not going to get anything after the consult. The purpose of the consult is not to get anything. The purpose of the consultation is to tell your parents what options do they have to slow down your myopia if that's the case. It could be eye drops, it could be contacts, it could be glass, it could be a number of things. Once I get their trust, I also tell them tomorrow when you come in or whenever you come in for your consult, you're going to get a snack. And the kid, I think I've told you, say, I don't want snacks. Mm -hmm. I know exactly where this is going. You're trying to bribe me. So I, I don't know if you're going to videotape this, Matt, but I'm in my exam room now. I have seven exam rooms, and they all have prize boxes in it. So I want to just show it to you. I don't know if you can sure. see it. Tell me if you can. I'm going to try here. So this is how my oh, yeah. typical prize box. So notice what you have here. You have a lot of colorful stuff. Each of these bags are stapled shut. And I explained to the parent, the reason they're stapled shut is no other child has touched these snacks because of COVID, we're much more careful. Mm -hmm. So they, ha they have a surprise in them. Each of them has different three different snacks in them. And the child gets to select them before we put on the lenses. Okay, so I don't buy them. I said, listen, you're going to get two of those bags today. Two, two, two bags. And the child doesn't want them yet. You're going to get one before we put in the lenses, and we're going to give you one afterwards. So six snacks. So right now, I've deflected from I'm scared to death of anything going near my eye. If I'm 10 years old, to well, how long am I going to have the lens? And I explain to him five minutes. That's it. And I ask him, is five minutes a long time or a short time? And oftentimes the child says, especially if they're smart, they say, well, it depends. Mm -hmm. And they're right. And we talk about that. So now I've developed a rapport with the parent, with the child. They know I'm not out to hurt them. They know I'm not going to shove a lens in their eye. I explain to them the technician is going to put it in after they get their permission. And then we use Proparacaine when we do a... Um, a trial fitting, and because, it, no, I've been doing this for so long, I basically make sure I do it quickly. I tell them their eyes are gonna glow in the dark. I give them a mirror, they hold the mirror. So we go through this song and dance, and even with all that, the child is not motivated to do it often enough. It's 50-50. So they get six snacks that are in a surprise bag that they can't open until they leave. Because what we realize is they don't want to eat in the office. They get hungry the minute the exam is over with or the consult is over with. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. So to answer her question is number one, you make sure your your office is child friendly. It's like an orthodontic office. We really are. So when you go to orthodontics, the child, there's a reward system to make them feel very happy about going there. And then if they can wear an ortho K lens, we've instituted this a year ago and it works so well, is we say, listen, if your mom agrees to enrolling in our program, it's gonna be a rough two weeks. You're gonna to have to learn to put it in by yourself, take it out two weeks. So knowing that, we're gonna send your mom a link to amazon.com. Do you know what amazon.com is? And the child just smiles. So, mm -hmm. yeah, of course. And you can pick out any gift there for $30. And we will have that gift all ready for you when you come in for your class. We don't call it an INR, we call it a class. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna work one-on-one -on -one with a teacher, not a technician, a teacher. And she is gonna show you how to put it in and take it out. And in order for you to pass your class, you have to do it three times. Once you do it three times, then you get your Amazon gift that's all waiting for you. So where do we put the gift? Right in front of the shield, because these poor kids are learning in front of a shield now. The tech is wearing a mask. They're wearing a mask. You know, it, it really is a hostile environment. And right now we have 100% INR success rates, where it used to be 80%. So for our practice, 20% is a huge deal. And there's a lot more going on. So there's snacks during the consult, there's snacks during the INR class, and there is this carrot and stick, right? Mm -hmm. The carrot is you get snacks, you get an Amazon gift card, you just have to put this thing three times, and the stick is your parents will be very disappointed if you can't do this. So we give them homework beforehand, but for this particular question, I think the optometrist has to think like an orthodontic, like a 10 year old. There's no video that I'm gonna watch as a 10 year old that's gonna convince me to put an ortho K lens in my eye every night. It's a lot of work. So that's how we've done it. It works extremely well. There's a lot of systems behind the, the scenes, but there's a lot of excitement. So now I'm looking forward to this $30 gift that I've ordered that I haven't seen is gonna show up at this optometrist's office and I just have to put this lens in. So there's a lot of good there. there there's just a lot of good, a lot of fun. It has worked amazingly well. 